Good morning everyone, it's Tess and today's tip 348 and I'm back to working with that book Napoleon Hill Outwitting the Devil and I figured out how to flip the phone around again. Um, this book is really interesting. I love this book. I think I'm going to get it on audio and today the section I looked at was talking about laziness and indifference and I don't like the word lazy. I try to look at things in life from an optimistic like law of attraction, look for the good, feel good, happiness, joy. Hi Joan. Um, I want to live life in a happy place. I want to feel good. I want to get the most out of everything in life. Um, I'm going to read this little paragraph, but I'm also going to say that I'm finding my life to be so much more fun and exciting when I, when I don't go in that place of below, good morning, good morning, when I don't go in that place below the worry line, meaning uh, moods of despair, anger, frustration. I always look to be happy, joyful, and full of love. But this particular passage in this book, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill, it says laziness plus indifference equals procrastination, which equals drifting. And I think drifting, many of us in life drift. And we may drift for a lot of different reasons. And the way they, um, this particular passage says laziness plus indifference equals procrastination and equals drifting. It says this describes a true drifter as defined by Hill, which is Napoleon Hill. Since I have been a true procrastinator for most of my life, this hits a little too close to home for me. I like to use the excuse that I work best under pressure, but that is all it is, an excuse for why I procrastinate. Can you think of examples in your own life when laziness and indifference led you off your path to success, when an opportunity slipped through your fingers because you were too slow to seize, seize it in time? And I thought this really kind of hit me for, an, or for a number of reasons. I think many of us, my phone's in the opposite direction today, many of us, I don't, I, I'm trying to live my life in a, in a place of positive words, positive moods, positive emotions because it feels better and I, I accomplish a lot more there. I actually have a list on my wall of 300 positive words. So that idea of laziness and indifference, I don't like those, but what it made me realize is that the difference for me right now is that I do choose to find things to be excited about. I do choose to be hopeful in the things I'm pursuing. I do choose to enjoy the things I'm doing in my life. I mean, it all kind of comes full circle to a lot that Doc V talks about Live your life doing more of what you love, less of what you tolerate, and none of what you hate. And that kind of falls into line with this. We become indifferent when the things we do aren't meaningful to us. So we have to find a way to love, to find the excitement, to find the joy, to be hopeful, and to be moving forward. Or like the other thing Doc V always says, take the shot and then adjust as you get down the road. Take the shot and adjust as you get down the road. I think too many of us, inadvertently have fallen into that place where we look at the things that aren't working and we end up allowing our moods to fall by the wayside, meaning that we, we, we feel hopeless, we feel despair, we feel frustrated, we feel like there isn't a way that we can win. And you have to find that one thing that feels good. And like even for me, like that simple thing I said with all the studying I've been doing, because I've been doing a ton of studying, but I, I like learning. That's always been a passion of mine. I'll brush my teeth at 7 p.m. and and use mouthwash just because it's helping you to break the habit of snacking. I realized I started snacking at night studying, so I had to break that habit. That's how I did it. But it's that one little thing, and the very first time I did it was a little bit uncomfortable, but today now I got up and I'm down and, and my journey is moving forward again. So that slow, sluggish indifference is starting to get pushed by the wayside. And I think I would hope that for everybody. We're all gonna hit moments of indifference. We're all gonna hit moments where things slow down but it's what you do in that moment that changes your life are you going to find something to be excited about to be hopeful about to be joyful about to pursue something to love or are you going to get stuck in that place where you're doing more of what you tolerate and more of what you hate because if you stay in that place of tolerance and hate you won't move forward so no matter which author motivates you or inspires you and I love this this is really interesting I know it's in talking to the devil and that can kind of be negative self-taught, but there's a part of me that likes to try to spin it positive because that is where I want to live. I want to live hopeful, joyful, full of happiness and full of 
a positive outlook moving forward. And I hope that that can kind of help you because if your life feels stagnant or indifferent, then what I'm going to say is that if you were to think about it from a place of mood, happiness, joy, love, or worry, despair, frustration, or you just don't care, that's all low. That's low on the mood scale. That's low on the emotion scale. You want to find things that shoot you high, that make you happy, that make you joyful, that make you excited, that make you want to get up and do something more. And I think the kind of catch with that is if you're struggling with it, is go back to kind of what Doc V was saying last week and that um, if you're doing a lot of things that you dislike, you're not going to find the motivation to push you forward. Find that thing that will help you kind of move forward because as you move forward, you'll find more things that you enjoy and like. And that's the law of attraction. The more that you look forward, the more that you do things you love, the more that you appreciate the things that you love that are coming into your life, the more that those type of things will come into your life. I mean, I'm learning that through uh, Zara Mahoon with Unlimited. That's a journal book that I work with every single day. But the more that you think positive, optimistic, and do the things you love to do, you draw more of that to yourself. The more you stay down in this low place where everything is things you hate, you won't do it, you'll keep thinking about it, it will bother you, and you'll draw more of it to you. So I hope that you can find that helpful today. But this, again, is Napoleon Hill outwitting the devil and I'm going to say that we don't want to live in different lives. We don't want our days to be focused on the things that we don't want to do. If we live in that place, like Doc V says, do none of what you don't like because inevitably law of attraction says, if you, good morning Eileen, good to see you. If you live in that place where you do not like what you're doing and all you're thinking about is what you don't want to do, Law of Attraction says you're going to draw more of that to you. And that none of us wants that. I do find that when I start thinking, and this falls right in line too, um, and Dr. Fee didn't call it Law of Attraction, but when he talks about uh, do more of what you love, less of what you tolerate, and none of what you hate, that will naturally put you in a place where you're above the worry line, where your mood, where your energy is happy, joyful, and love. And that will propel you forward. So if you do nothing today, stop letting yourself be in that place of um, the things you hate because then you start thinking about it and you draw more of that. Start thinking about, just think about all the things that you love and start drawing more of that to you. Because the more you think about it, the more your brain thinks about it and goes, oh, hey, she likes this. Let's bring more of this to her. Let's bring more, 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 more. I think too often we see lack instead of seeing abundance. We need to see abundance, gratitude, thankfulness. I hope you guys find this helpful. And like I said, this kind of goes to the devil, which can be low on the emotional scale. But my whole joy in life now is to turn a negative to a positive, to find a reason to be joyful, happy, excited, exuberant, adventurous, curious, to move forward to what life has to offer. I'm tired of living in a place of indifference, of being in a place where everything around me was the stuff that I didn't want. It is true. Law of attraction will draw to you what you think about. Doc V is right. We don't want to spend a lot of time. We want to spend no time in the things we hate because it's not going to draw good to us. Get out there, be positive, optimistic, and draw more of what you love to you. It does feel good. I know it's changed my life, and I know it can change yours. Let's have a great day. Something as simple as a flower, a butterfly, or a sunrise. Enjoy it this morning and start your brain thinking about the things you love to pull you in the direction of the things that you want. Have a great day, and thank you.